Greetings, I'm Geo Fatboy. I make shaving videos and sell shaving supplies. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving needs. Have a great shave, have a great day. Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Usually, we're in a hurry in the morning. We just take our brush, dip it in the jar of shaving cream, load the tips, lather up right on our face, get our shave on, and be on the way. But for those times when you want to take a little bit of extra time, Saturday morning, Sunday morning, and really enjoy your shave with your safety razor or your straight razor, you might want to employ a bowl so you can mix luxurious, copious amounts of lather and apply that to your face with your shaving brush and really enjoy the shaving experience. In my opinion, the utmost zen moment of the shave is applying that shaving cream with a nice brush. In that regard, I will take you through many different shaving bowls, and I mean many different shaving bowls. I have a lot of bowls here, so get a cup of coffee, put your feet up on the chair, chill, take a sip, and check all these bowls out. I'll start with some smaller ones, and we'll work our way up. When you first get started, you can use anything, a coffee cup, cereal bowl, whatever you have in the kitchen. Then later on, you'll get bitten by the RED, actually the MAD, mug or bowl acquisition disorder where you want to have a few different types of bowls. So we'll just start with very simplistic ones. This is just a little glass bowl right here. And it measures about three and a half inches across, not super deep. You can mix lather in this little bowl. And all these bowls are available at Shave Nation if you want to pick any up. Just click below the video where it says show more. You can grab them there. And if you don't find it there, just enter in the search box what it's called. It'll pop right up. Okay, next up, we have, this is really a nice little bowl. This is by Merker. The logo is etched in. It's laser etched in this glass. So it's satin glass on the outside. And if you can make that out, it's a little difficult to see, especially with my background here, but uh, Merker is soling in and it's got their logo. It's got four little rubber feet on the bottom so it has a nice grip on the sink top. And it's just a really nice little shaving bowl. It's a palm bowl, fits right in your hand. This one measures about the same, almost three and a half inches across. Very popular little shaving bowl. By the way, this one will break. This one will break if you drop it. Next up. This is a Shave Nation palm bowl. This is green, fits right in your palm, comes in black, red, blue, white, pink, yellow, green, all those different colors. It's made of metal. It will not break if you drop it. This is smooth on the inside, as you can see. Next up is the Shave Nation palm bowl bumpy. It's got raised bumps on the inside, so when you swirl your brush, the friction against those bumps creates a quick, fast, easy lather. Again, this comes in seven different colors. You can see the bumps. The bumpy bowl, not breakable. As I said, you can use just about anything. Here's a coffee cup. This is a Shave Nation coffee cup. You can use this. The problem with these, it's a little bit small and you're gonna be banging your brush against the sides when you try to mix your lather, which irritates me. But you can drink coffee out of it. One side, Shave Nation, shavenation.com. The other side, have a great shave. Have a great day. Gotta love that. It is breakable. Don't drop it. Next up is kind of a novelty mug. This is a Bacardo mustache mug. It's got a picture of a mustached gentleman on the side. It's got this distinct little crosshatch here. I don't know what you would call this, but you can drink out of it like so. And by the way, this is made for right-handed people. If you're a lefty, it's just like a regular cup. But if you're a righty, you're sipping through that little hole. There's a good look at it. This will break if you drop it. It's ceramic. Next we'll move on to some shaving mugs that have a handle on the side and you can drop your soap puck right in the middle there. They usually have dots or grooves on the bottom to hold the puck in place. And this is by Marvi. This is the Opal shaving mug. Nice mug, again small. You will bang your brush on the sides when you lather. It's unbreakable. Here's another one by Marvy. It's a green one. This one has a, a circle around the bottom where you can drop your puck in and lock it in place. This is a rubber mug, so this will not break as well. It's got a nice handle on the side. This is a sandalwood mug by Marvy. 
This one also has the circle on the bottom. So you push your puck down into that and locks it in place. And most of these, once you use it once or twice, the moisture locks the soap in place and it doesn't go anywhere. This is unbreakable as well. Here's a Parasso Professional Shaving Mug. It says so right on the bottom. Professional Shaving Mug, right there. This has got my soap in it. I've used this in a video. A lot of these you'll see in my videos. Unbreakable as well. This one's a little bit wider, which is nice. You can see how it flares out a bit. You're not banging the sides of the mug with the brush when you mix your lather. This is called an apothecary style mug. It has a handle on the side like this. Takes you back to the 17, 1800s. This is by Parker, comes in black and white. Also flares out a bit, so you have a little bit more room, but not a super amount. You, if you're not careful, you'll still bang on the sides. This is ceramic, so it will break if you drop it. Again, comes in black and white. Now we move on to the Simpsons Apothecary style mug. This is a small mug. You can see, fits right in my hand like so. In my opinion, it's too small, but they have a solution. You can see that definitely you're gonna bang your brush on the sides of this, because it's small. There's no grooves or anything on the inside, but it does say AE Simpson 1919 on the bottom, which is cool, and their logo on the side as well. So their solution is this beast of a shaving mug right here. This thing is huge. Look at, here's my hand. It's almost as big as my entire hand. This thing measures, let's check it, measures five inches across the top and about three and a half across the bottom and has a handle on the side for easy grip. So any size shaving puck is going to be able to drop down in here and it will fit, no problem. By the way, any of these mugs or bowls, if you want to drop your puck in there and say your puck is too big, you can always use a cheese grater or a knife, cut a little bit around the sides, drop it in, and then take the shavings that you removed and push those, pack those down into the bottom, and that will secure it in place and you won't waste any of your soap. If it's a glycerin-based shaving soap, like Colonel Conk shaving soap, which right here I have some, Colonel Conk, this is glycerin-based, you can put this in a microwave for 10 to 15 seconds and it will melt down and conform into whatever shape your bowl is. Of course, you don't want to use a metal bowl. Keep that in mind. It has to be plastic or rubber or ceramic. Anything else will work. Just nothing that's not microwavable. All right, so there's the Simpsons. Both of these are ceramic and they will break if you drop them. Here's a couple of horn bowls. This is a buffalo or cow horn right here. The cool thing about these is the fact that each one is original. They're all handmade. No two will be alike because, as I said, they're all handmade. These will not break if you drop them. The only drawback to this bowl is that it's going to have a slight odor when you first use it a couple times and then it will dissipate and you'll be fine. So this is a smaller size. Fits right in my palm, as you can see. And I had these made because I wanted it. Most of them come straight up. These have a lip around the edge, so it's easier to hold on to. And the shaving cream comes up around the lip and then you can drive it back down. So this is the small one. This one measures about four and a half inches across the top. And this one is the larger size, almost six inches, five and three quarters across the top. And as I said, they're all different. There'll be light ones, dark ones, different patterns, very original looking bowls, as you can see. Unbreakable, you can drop this, it won't break. Now here's a couple, these are marble and these are made for shaving soap. This is a Colonel Conk, it comes with some Colonel Conk soap. So there's two different sizes, large and small. So you can see it's a beautiful marble bowl right here. It's got a lid to it, which is nice. So you drop your soap inside there, remove it from the container, drop it in, put the lid on when you're done, and it'll look beautiful on your sink top. Very nice. And these are heavy. This weighs, I can tell it weighs about a pound, maybe a little more. That's the large size. Here's the small size. A little bit of a difference there. And both have lids. So once you drop the soap in, you could even melt the soap in here if you want. Pop the lid on, you're good to go. Very sharp looking and hefty. If you drop it, it will break. This is a Parker wooden shaving bowl. This is high luster. You can see the beautiful finish on it. It's got a really nice high gloss gleaming finish. And you just drop your soap in here when you're done. Uh, put the cap on and you're good to go till next time. This measures about three and a half inches across. 
So just about all pucks will fit in here. All right, let me reload. I'm gonna go get more, believe it or not. Be right back. Are you still with me? It might be time to refill your cuppa. All right, here we go with some more. These are a little bit different type shaving mugs. This is a Boker thumb hole mug. Check that out. It's got a hole in the back where your thumb goes through. I have a video with this. I'll put a link up to it. You can check it out. So this is made of ceramic. This is made by Boker in Germany. And it's a very cool looking traditional style mug. Check out the video. You'll see how it works. Breakable. If you drop it on the floor, it's going to shatter. Here's another Boker. This is their version of the apothecary style. It's a bit small, as you can see. This baby measures yeah, about three and three quarters across the top. But it's a nice little shaving mug and very easy to whip up a quick lather and you won't bang your brush on the sides. It's not real deep. It's got the Boker logo. Manufacturer Solingen on the side there. Very nice looking bowl. Ceramic will break as well. We get these from Simpsons. They don't have any logo on them, but it is a traditional style where you put the shaving soap up here and fill it with water and lather up. I also have a video using this. I'll put a link to that as well. You can check that out. These are traditional style, old school for sure. Pour boiling hot water in there is what you do, but check out the video. You'll see it in action. Also ceramic will break if you drop it. Next up, a pretty cool dreadnought shaving bowl. This is porcelain, but very sturdy. It feels like it's porcelain over metal or something. It just, it's got a silver rim around the top, if you can make that out. And then it's got the very cool Dreadnought logo right there on the face of it. So I'm tempted to drop this to see if it will break, but I don't want to. Very comfortable in the hand, easy to grip. Again, some form of, por they call it porcelain, so I'll call it porcelain. I'll stick with that. Uh, it may break, it may not. I'm not sure, and I don't want to try. <laughs> I don't want to be sweeping up glass right now, so or porcelain. Here's one by Edwin Jagger, very similar. Edwin Jagger. It's got the logo on the front. This one is black with the silver rim around the top as well. Very similar bowls, very easy to grip, and it's white on the bottom. Again, this is porcelain, so I think if you drop this, I think it will break. Across the top, it's about five inches. Exactly the same as the Dreadnought Bowl, five inches across the top. Now we'll move on to a different style bowl. This one is the Fine Accoutrements Shaving Lather Bowl. You can see it's got ridges on the inside, which will assist with the friction when the brush grows across. When the brush glides across, it will create friction and create more lather. A cool feature right here, which is pretty brilliant if you ask me. The brush can sit right up on the side, like so. And it's got a handle, so if you want to hang it when you're done or put your thumb through there, nice design, very nice. Breakable, yes, if you drop it, it will break. Comes in five or six different colors, red, blue, black, ivory, really nice looking, pretty sharp on your sink top. Next up is the Captain's Choice Ceramic Lather Bowl. It has rings around the middle of it, as you can see, and the idea behind that is the same. Swirl your brush and the friction created by doing so will create uber lather for you. It's got a nice little thumb knob right here that you can put your thumb on and hold it. Very easy to grip that way. This one measures pretty good size. It's wide, almost five inches across the top, eh, inch and a half deep thereabouts. So very nice as well. If you drop this on the floor, it will break. It does say Captain's Choice on the bottom, and then it's got their logo, the little uh, boat wheel, whatever you call that, on the side. You uh, nautical types can tell me exactly what that's called. The steering wheel on the boat, I'm not sure what it's called, but that's kind of their logo. So again, that will break if you drop it. Here's another Captain's Choice bowl. This one is the copper shaving bowl. Again, you can see the rings around the bottom, exactly the same size as the other. The only difference is it's made out of copper. So if you drop this, it's not gonna break. There's a look at the logo on this one. Nice looking bowl. And it does say Captain's Choice on the bottom as well. So this being metal will also retain some heat and help you keep your shaving cream warmer a bit longer during your shave. Now we'll come to some Shave Nation bowls. This is the Shave Nation ceramic shaving bowl. It's nice, deep, wide, has a lather spot at the bottom. You can squirt your shaving cream in, fill that bottom spot up, and then run your brush right across that. 
and create your lather that way. You've seen me use this in many videos. Excellent shaving bowl. It's got the logo on the side, Shave Nation. And then on the bottom, it's got the Shave Nation Barbara Pole logo. It is ceramic. It will retain heat. And if you drop it, it will break. This particular one will break. By the way, these come in seven different colors. Black, red, blue, white, pink, yellow, green. This is the blue right here. Here's another Shave Nation bowl. This is the Shave Nation Chicago Artisan Shaving Bowl. We have these made by artisans in Chicago, and it even says USA on the bottom. It's got raised ridges, lather lines across the top, and the lather spot at the bottom. So you just fill that bottom portion with lather or soap, and then get to swirling, and you get lather, uber lather in no time at all. These are beautiful looking bowls. Each one looks like a work of art. Very nice, and it's got this block here with the Shave Nation on it that you can use to grip. Put your thumb right on it, under it, over it, whatever's more comfortable for you, that's how you can grip it. Very nice bowl. And the lines help create lather very quickly. You can also see this, I use it in many videos. This comes in five or six different colors as well. This is aqua, but it also comes in desert green, Santorini blue, it comes in a red crimson, also sandstone, so a lot of variety there. Again, made in Chicago, made in USA. Here is the Shave Nation Indestructible Bumpy Lather Bowl. This has raised bumps on the inside and the lather spot at the bottom. And you can see the logo on the side, Shave Nation. This also comes in seven different colors. This is the red. This will not break if you drop it. Uh, as you can see, if you want to check out the video I'm going to put up here, I hit it with a baseball bat. I blasted it with a couple of Geo Fat Boy slap shots, and it survived all that. Check out the video, see what you think. Man vs. Shaving Bowl. And speaking of Man vs. Shaving Bowl, here's the actual Shave Nation bowl that I used in the video. You can see it's still in one piece. It is dented a little bit, it is scratched a little bit, but it did not break. There's a white one that we used in a different video that survived having a car driven over it as well. So these are unbreakable. They're metal, they retain moisture, so excellent shaving bowls and mix lather very easily. Are you still with me? We're almost done. As I said, you can use just about anything for a lather bowl. When I was in Greece two years ago, I picked a couple of these up. This is a handmade bowl. I mean, you can use it for, for nuts or cereal or whatever. As you can see, it's beautiful. It's got raised bumps on the inside, so it's perfect for mixing lather. It says handmade. Here's another one I picked up when I was there. It's got raised bumps on the inside, a beautiful blue color. Excellent for mixing lather. Wide enough where you won't bang your brush on the sides. Too bad we don't stock these, but if uh, somebody wants to make them for us, we'd be more than happy to. If you want to go old school, really old school, here you go, Old Spice mug. I've had this for about 10 years, and uh, I picked this up online somewhere about 10 years ago, and you can see it's got my soap already melted into it. So when I'm in a hurry, I just grab my brush, bloom the soap with some hot water, and then just swirl my brush in the tips, get right to it, nice and easy. Last but not least, this is a beast. It's called a shaving scuttle. What you do with this is you remove the stopper, rubber stopper, you fill this hole with hot water, so it's double layered, it's double lined. There's a hollow space around here, and you fill that with hot water, replace the stopper, and that will keep your shaving cream that you mix in here, that'll keep it nice and warm during your shave. The only drawback, this thing's a beast, it's huge. It's like two hands big and very heavy, two or three pounds heavy. So it's a beast. If you drop this ceramic, it will break. Another thing you might wanna do is use your old shaving cream jar. Once you empty it out, it looks like this. It's got a lid, unscrew it, screw it back on. You can put shaving soap in here, you can melt it down. Put the cap back on, you're good to go. Very nice, we sell these too, you can pick these up. All right, so I think I've thoroughly mind boggled you. There's a lot of shaving bowls out there, that's for sure. Ceramic, metal, wood, all different materials, plastic, rubber, there's a lot to choose from. So check out all these bowls. I'll put a link underneath where it says show more and you can peruse all these different bowls if you wanna pick one up. Just go for it. Before I head out, please click that subscribe button and then click the bell, then click all. You'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. They'll go right to your inbox. You won't miss any. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to ShaveNation.com. Have a great shave. Have a great day.